This was how a decade of chaos and violence in China began. The year was 1966 and thousands gathered in Tiananmen Square to declare their loyalty to Chairman Mao. The cultural revolution that followed led to the closure of China's schools, the rise of a student-led paramilitary movement and the death of millions. Yang Xiaoyan was one of 16 million children sent to the countryside, where education was replaced by farm work. I lost my youth. It was such hard labor with hardly any food, and all the time we had to chant Mao slogans. There were beatings, rapes, and many deaths. Eight girls committed suicide because they were raped. But that dark chapter of China's past has largely been airbrushed from history. The 50th anniversary of the start of Mao's campaign this week went unmarked. The ruling Communist Party still restricts open discussion of the revolution. The authorities tried to shut down this art exhibit, portraying six Chairman Mao's in a firing squad. The artists behind the piece are still fighting for the truth about how their father died in 1968. He was taken away as an enemy of the state, and we were told he had killed himself. But we know he was beaten to death. Chairman Mao died in 1976, and his revolution died alongside him. Today, China is a very different place, but reminders of that dark time remain. Mao's little red book and his image are now found mainly in tourist markets, but the one-party system he built still governs here. And some say it will take centuries for China to fully recover from the social chaos of the Cultural Revolution. represent women in politics.